All right, we're going to look at how to find the angle between a line and a plane. And the trick to this is to use the normal vector to the plane. Okay, so remember the normal vector to the plane is a vector that is 90 degrees to the plane. So in this diagram, the plane is just the XY plane and the normal vector would then be the Z axis, okay? Because that Z axis is perpendicular to the XY plane. Now, if we consider a line, and remember what we want is the angle between the line and the plane. Uh, but if we can first find the angle between that line and the normal vector, can you see that actually that angle is going to be 90 degrees minus the angle that we want? Okay, so if we find the angle between the line and the normal, subtract that from 90 degrees, that will give us the angle between the line and the plane. Okay, so hopefully that diagram helps to understand that concept. But now let's go back to um, our plane, which is 3x minus 5y plus 6z equals 2. So the good thing about this form, uh, this equation of the plane is it's actually quite easy to get the normal vector. Okay, because in this form, uh, the coefficients of x, y, and z are actually going to give us the coefficients for the normal vector. So in this case, the normal vector is going to be uh, 3i minus 5j plus 6k. So with that, what we want to do first is to find the angle between our line and that normal vector. How can we do that? Well, we can use a scalar product. Okay, so we need now a vector parallel to our line. Now our line is given in Cartesian form. Uh, what we want to get is a vector that's parallel to that line. And from this Cartesian form, uh, if we write it as x over negative one equals y minus one over two equals z minus one over one, these denominators here are going to give us a vector parallel to the line. Okay, so in this case, the vector will be uh, negative i plus 2j plus 1k. Okay, so we've got a vector parallel to the line. We've got our normal vector. We want to find the angle between those two vectors. So we use our scalar product formula. Uh, a dot b is equal to length of a times length of b cosine theta. So cosine theta is equal to a dot b divided by length of a times length of b. So in this case, the dot product on the top will be negative three uh, minus two times five is 10 plus six divided by square root uh, three squared plus five squared plus six squared times square root one squared plus two squared plus one squared. Okay, so we're gonna need a calculator to help evaluate that. And then what we want to do is take the inverse cosine Okay, if we do inverse cosine, actually that's going to give us 109 or about 110 degrees. So that is an obtuse angle, okay, because what we've done is we've found the angle between two vectors. But if we consider the two lines, uh, what we actually want is the acute angle here. So two lines would always have uh, an acute angle and an obtuse angle. What we want is the acute angle. So we just then subtract from 180 and that would give us 70 degrees. Okay, so 70 degrees between our line and our normal. Then finally, remember what we really want is the angle between the line and the plane. So how do we get that? We take our 70 degrees and subtract it from 90. Okay, because the normal vector is perpendicular to the plane. So 90 minus 70 will give us 20 degrees between our line and the plane. So there it is, that's the general method for finding the angle between a line and a plane. We find the normal vector to the plane, the angle between the line and the normal vector, and then subtract that from 90 degrees. Okay, I hope that makes sense.